Do you know what day it is today? It's winter solstice, and I think that this is my favorite day of the year. Because <laughs> I hate the winter, and the days are looking brighter from here on out, so hell can yeah to that. I'm stoked about it. Uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. If you are new here, hello. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. For today's video, I kind of wanted to play around with some liner. Alana Rama did a video recently doing like some purple kind of graphic-esque liner and it looked so cute. And I have all these new liners from Raw Beauty Christie Times at Colourpop. So I wanted to play around and see what we come up with. So let's jump on in to this liner video. I'm gonna do the eyes first because we're gonna use like a shimmery kind of topper at the end. Um, I don't know which one yet. There's two that I'm debating to be debating it between. So we'll figure it out when we get to that step. Um, I just wanted to show you my new tattoo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's upside down. Look at her. I got it done yesterday and I love it. I got my tattoo done by Jess.Tattoos. I'll have her Instagram here. If you're in the Vancouver area and you are wanting a new tattoo or you want to like check out her work, she's so good. All of the ones on this arm are by Jess, like including this one over here, just not the Sorelli one. This one is by somebody else. We got this a long ass time ago. I don't even know who the artist was, <laughs> but that means sisters in Italian and me and my sisters have that. <laughs> tattoo together sister tattoos so we're gonna start with the eyes so that we don't get glitter all over the place i'm gonna prime my lids using my ColourPop pretty fresh concealer this is in the shade l40n you always want to bring the concealer out like probably to the end of your brow just so you have it there so it's not like patchy I'm gonna set that with my Pat McGrath under eye powder just because it's so soft and like I think that'll be easy to blend other products on top of it. I've really hit pan though, I haven't even showed you yet. But there's a shit ton of kickback in here. Like I've heard great things about the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, but they don't have a, sh a great shade range in general in their collection. And you know, I wanna show products to people that everybody can use so when you're using a brand that doesn't have a lot of shades like you're really limiting your viewers because if there's not enough shades in that line for somebody with a way deeper skin tone than me then like they're gonna end up not watching my videos right so i'll have to find i'll have to do some research and see what a great uh setting powder is okay so we're gonna take our Robbie Christy Times ColourPop palette at Forest Sight, and we're just gonna go in with this like this nice little tan color, this little like camel color. Um, it's called Puffball, and we're just gonna run that through a crease. Like when you're doing your eyes first, don't be afraid to like bring it out as far as you need to to get the blend right because uh, we're gonna go in afterwards and clean up everything before we apply any base products. So. so now we're gonna go in with the liner. There's not many products to this look, but there's just like a lot of blending, you know? So don't like kick yourself if you're taking forever to blend it out because it's probably gonna take a while to blend out. You feel me? <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Robbie Christie Times ColourPop Spare Time Liner. It's this beautiful green color. It's like perfect for holidays, like Christmas. So we're gonna start on the bottom lash line. And we're doing one eye at a time. Because we're gonna be blending the heck out of it. It is so pretty. Holy crow. Holy crow. Oh my god, am I like an 85 year old woman? I mean, probably. So we're gonna bring the line up. Like that. So you wanna look straight ahead. We're trying to bring the liner like above. We're trying to do like a graphic kind of liner, right? So when you're looking straight ahead, you wanna see where your eyelid is and then you wanna go above that where your crease is because then you'll see what you've done when your eye is open. 
This could potentially turn into a disaster because I don't really do looks like this often, but you know, practice makes perfect, so just gotta keep gotta keep trying. Okay, that actually worked surprisingly well. <laughs> I'm shocked. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Smith 212 brush. We're gonna start with this brush and see if it does what I need it to do. And if not, we're gonna switch it up. This is a flat tip, like, this is a flat tip, um, this is a tight lining brush. <laughs> so when you go like under your eyelashes, on your top lash, that's uh, tight lining, and this is what that brush is for. But we're gonna use it to blend this out. <music> This eyeliner is really pretty. And we're just gonna keep blending this out until we like it. It's gonna take a little bit of time. You just gotta be patient with it and keep on blending. You know, like Dory. really impressed with this liner. The brush is doing a fine job, but I'm going to take this little ColourPop E10 brush. It's just like a very small pencil brush. I'm really going to keep on blending. But you see how you can see the graphic line when we're having our eyes open? Because like if you put it lower, you're not going to see it when your eyes open. It may look a little crazy to start, but like once you add all of the products on, like your lashes, your mascara, it really will come together quite nice. And I am surprised at how easy that application was with the liner, dude. Things are looking good for us today. For now. <laughs> gonna do the other eye and hope for the best and hope that it will be as easy as this was. Okay, so there's that one, and I kind of kept the bottom a little bit more of a harsh line, and then we're blending out the top of the line. So that's what I'm going to do on this side. So you literally just like gently, gently blend over the top of the line to kind of smooth it out. And you can always add in more product if you think you need it. I think I just want a little bit more right here. Pretty happy with that, you guys. I'm pretty impressed with that eyeliner. It's super creamy, like I was not really expecting it to go that smoothly. So, 10 out of 10, recommend this liner. So, I honestly was like expecting this to take a billion years longer than it did, but it didn't, so we're looking good. It's just so pretty. I think we're gonna go with this one because it matches like the brown and the green that we have going on. We're gonna go back into the Robbie DeCristi ColourPop palette and go in with Evergreen, which is this beautiful duochrome green slash brown uh, shadow. And I think we're gonna start with a brush just to really get the placement right. Are we gonna do the whole thing, shimmers? Yes, we are. And I'm really tapping off any extra product because I don't want follow, even though we did the eyes first, like it's still a pain in the butt. And we're gonna go in with the wet brush. This is gonna be so pretty, holy sh Oh my god, it's so pretty. You see how it's like a duochrome kind of, and it matches the brown that we put on the crease at the very beginning. See, we think things out a little bit here. <laughs> you guys, those are the eyes so far, and I think that they just look so freaking pretty. What do you think? Um, now we're going to start on the face. I obviously don't have anything on my face right now, so let's put on some products. I'm gonna take my Rin Skincare Global Protection Day Cream. I'm also gonna take some of my Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. And then we're gonna take some eye cream, and I think this is my last use of my Ula Henriksen under eye cream. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Jekka Black liquid corrector and put this on my under eyes. You really don't need a lot, oops. Okay, now we're gonna take our foundation. We're gonna be using our Quo Beauty liquid foundation, eight hour wear, and I have this in the shade Vanilla C3. 
and I only used it like a couple times now and it's so beautiful. I'm gonna start with that much. That's the quick consistency, it's quite liquidy, but it's just like so fresh. I really like the way that this looks on the skin, especially when you set it in the areas that you feel too shiny, it just like works out great. nose is so dry it's literally like cracked here from how oh ow <laughs> sorry if you hated that but my nose is just in agony dude the shade is like a tiny bit deep but we'll, we'll just go with it um i think i'm gonna take a bit more just a bit okay, that much tiny bit and put a little bit more in the center of my face, kind of right in this area. Is anybody else having just the worst dandruff of your life this year? Like 2020 was bad enough. It looks like it snowed on my head. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like if you're a hairdresser or if you have thoughts on the matter, do you think that hairdressers are grossed out by dandruff? Because, like, obviously, like, estheticians deal with acne and, like, blackheads and stuff like that. But, like, do you think or are you... Do you think or do you get grossed out by dandruff? I have a hair appointment in February. And I hope my dandruff is gone by then. But, like, if it's not, like, I'm, like, low-key embarrassed about it. Do you think they care? Let me know. <laughs> Next up is some concealer. We're gonna take our same concealer we put on our lids earlier. The ColourPop... Pretty fresh concealer in light 40N. And I've just been seeing more makeup artists like not go as high up to the lash line. So we're keeping it a bit lower. I feel like those products blended in really nicely together. We're taking the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. I freaking love this bronzer, dude. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. I wonder what Samantha Ravindal's makeup products are going to be. She has announced that she's coming out with a makeup line and I'm literally so excited. And she said on a recent YouTube live that they're they're launching two products to start. What do you think her products are gonna be? I'm thinking cream for sure. Oh, I just don't know. I'm so excited. I never bronze down here. What am I doing? Um. Okay, bronzer. I mean blush time. I think we're just gonna stick to which one. I don't want to use both today. I want to try one or the other, like on its own, because I always use both and I love both of them. Don't get me wrong, but I want to just choose one today, and I think I'm gonna choose the powder because we're pretty dewy so I'm just gonna go in with some powder blush here today this is my Patrick Ta she's she's so LA and we're bringing it high up onto our cheekbones here to kind of angle the face and the nose and now I'm gonna set my under eyes I've really been enjoying using my CoverGirl um, powder. I just like that it adds a tiny bit of coverage, you know, like a little bit of color. This foundation is super, super dewy. But you know, my dry skin appreciates it because I don't look like a crusty, anything crusty. I don't like crusty, which is what I aim for. Nobody wants to be looking crusty, dude. Now I'm going to take my Ace Beauty Bronze in Paradise palette and we're gonna just contour the nose a little bit. I'm just gonna take the first lightest shade in here and maybe a bit of the second one, just kind of doo -doo. Looking kind of crazy there. But I think I'll let it just sit for a second to like soak into the um, 
liquid and cream products that we have happening here and then we'll go in in a minute and blend it out hopefully I don't forget to do that but I mean I look like an idiot so <laughs> I don't think I will forget we're gonna move on to the bottom lash line now and now we're gonna take our liner and we're gonna do our bottom la what bottom waterline hopefully it lasts well in the bottom waterline since it because it is so creamy and my eye is hella watering right now and just kind of stabbed it there we go we are close to the finish line here folks okay i want to <sighs> blend out this nose contour because it's looking insane and i do not want to forget the two shadows i was debating in between for the lid which i'm super happy i chose this i just think it works perfectly uh but the other one was this pat mcgrath topper in celestial so we're gonna just put this on our inner corner because it'll be freaking cute oh my god i didn't think i would like this as much as i do this whole look okay, and i think i want to go in with some highlighter today we're gonna take this kaja beauty uh mochi glow highlight in toy alien i haven't used this in so flippin long pretty i think it matches the eyes nice i am now going to put on my mascara and lashes i will be back in just a minute right these are the eyes almost complete about 99 percent complete um i've noticed that a little bit of the waterline liner is fading so we're just going to touch it up a bit these are my allure by arch cosmetics lashes in the style carry they're so freaking beautiful these lashes are insane you guys like i've been using them now for like a while and they're super comfortable they're such good quality like i trim them and nothing falls apart like i really really like these lashes a lot I highly recommend them and I do have a discount code if you want to purchase that's uh, Meryl 20. Time for some lip. Lip, lip, lip. What are we going to put on the lip? We're going to just do it because we're not going anywhere so it truly doesn't matter. <laughs> 2020. You. One good thing that came out of 2020 was that I started my YouTube channel this year. My first video uploaded on January 8, 2020. So, in that respect, you know, we'll, we'll take that out of this year. Wow, this pencil is sharpening like absolute dog shit. This is my Quo pencil, lip crayon, lip contour pencil. And it's just completely fun. <laughs> I don't, it's just like getting shredded, so that's fun. I'm going to try this. And if it's not the right shade, we'll just add on a deeper lip liner after we apply our lip gloss. But this pencil is like not looking cute. And this pencil is in the shade 52 Nuditude. Ah, it's kind of dry. I just bought it like not that long ago. You know how I can tell when I need to drink more water? Is when my lips look like this. They look like shriveled up prunes dude and i can tell you i haven't drank a lot of water that's for sure well this pencil is not doing it for me today the last time i used it i really liked it and today it's not having a good time oh my god it's like it just my sharpener ate it that i liked it the first time i used it but maybe it just like got extremely dried out in the last three days so this is going to be a pass for me, this specific one. I'm still down to try another shade. Maybe it's just this one pencil that's a piece of shit, but um, yeah, it's just like completely destroyed. And I have like a decent pencil sharpener. It's not like it's, I don't know. Anyways, okay, so we're going to switch up our lip liner here. I'll just use this one. This one is my Ben Nye lip liner in Nutmeg. 12 hours later, we have some lip liner on. Tower 28 Lip Jelly in Almond. It's just the most beautiful shade, dude. Oh, it matches that lip liner like a dream. Time for some setting spray. I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I really do love this setting spray, but for reasons which I spoke about earlier, the fact that Charlotte Tilbury has a foundation or just shade range in general, 
which I saw something somewhere. <laughs> it's really informative, Meryl. I saw some comment somewhere that was like, oh, they're gonna add to their um, powder range. So if that happens, that's fantastic. But I'm gonna have to do some more research into all of that. Um, but for the meantime, I won't be buying any Charlotte Tilbury stuff, but I will be looking into it because I love their sh These huge brands need to get their heads out of their asses. And now I will go back over with my sponge just to press it in kind of, but like very gently, like we're not even pressing it in. We're just kind of patting over it. All right, this is today's final look. And I must say, I'm quite impressed with the way the eyes turned out and just like how easy it was to actually do that, which was like, I gotta give 100% props to this eyeliner pencil because it blended so nicely. It's so creamy. It was really, really easy to work with. I have nothing bad to say about this, except for it doesn't really stay super well in my bottom waterline, but my eyes are super watery. So that's the only thing I can say that's like a little bit of a negative. If you have really watery eyes, it might not stay that well in your bottom waterline, but um, but honestly, nothing really stays in my bottom waterline because of the fact that they are so watery. Um, what can I say here? So this foundation, I really, really like it. I think that if you have oily skin, I don't think you'll love it because even the areas I powdered, it's like still, the dew is still coming on through, which I don't mind. But if you have oily skin, you might not love it that much. Like I powdered my T-zone and it looks shiny again. So let's powder it again and see if it is like, if it can be continually powdered without starting to look cakey. But for all my dry skinned folk out there, I think you'd like it. See, I powdered it again and it looks, still looks really great. Like it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. So I do like this foundation a lot. It's very affordable. Unfortunately, I think you can only get it in Canada right now, but I mean, if you're in Canada, I just cracked my knuckle, sorry. Um, if you're in Canada and if you like the way it looks, I think you would really like the foundation. I like this packaging a lot and it's just super cute. It does look a lot like my face and body and it also looks like Glossier Skin Tint, but for me, it's more accessible than getting Glossier Skin Tint because I can just literally go to Shoppers Drug Mart and pick it up and it is cruelty free, which MAC face and body is not. So this is a win for me. I am enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this eye look. I think that it turned out quite nice if I uh, do say so myself. I, uh, I like it. I think I kind of want to try doing it again with the other liners that I got from Robbie De Christie Times Colourpop collection. Um, I don't really think I have anything else to say. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And you can follow me on Instagram if you would like to. I'm trying to get to 500 followers by the end of the year and we're slowly getting there, but I could really use your help. I hope you enjoyed my Alana Rama inspired makeup look and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.